Welcome to the IDS video on how to create a barcode for your ZSK embroidery machine. First thing is first that with our barcoding we do need a special font installed to create that barcode for the file. And I'm going to do this while IDS is closed um, because it will not read the font um, if you install it while IDS is open. You just need to refresh it. So I always install fonts with IDS closed. Now, when we installed IDS, there is a folder that has the font that we need to install. So it's going to be pretty easy for us to do. I am working on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8 work very similar to this on how to install a font. So I will open up my folder. Um, this, I'm just on my desktop here and I'll go to my file explorer and within my file explorer I need to go to my PC, open up my C drive on my Windows and in my C drive I have a folder called Super Tech. I need to double click to open this and once I open this I have an IDS folder. With the IDS folder I'll double click to open it and here in this main directory, I'm going to scroll down and I have a, fold, a file here called free3of9x.ttf. I want to find this file and simply double click on it. When I double click, it will show you the font and you also have an option to install this font. So I will click here to install and once I click install, it will install that font and now I can close that out. After that's installed, I will then start the IDS program. So here I'll scroll down, find IDS, and start it up. After I start IDS, I'll open a design that I'd like to export or write to a machine file format and then barcode that from my machine. So I have a file here that I recently opened and we'll go ahead and click on that and here is my design. Now when we're creating a barcode for a, a file, for a design, we need to make sure that we first have a network set up to where our machine and computer can communicate. In this example, I do have my machine networked to my computer. A machine can also be networked to a server. And I have a shared folder that my machine can read called ZSK. So you do need to make sure that one, you know where your folder is because that's where your design is going to write to. And two, that the machine can actually see that folder and read from that folder. So you need to make sure everything is working together. So again, in this example, I have a shared folder called ZSK. So I'm going to take this design that I've created and save it to that file folder. I use that export function. I can use export or I can uh, do the export a couple of different ways. First, I can see that icon on my screen, which is an orange sewing machine called export. I have a drop down menu because there are different formats that I can write to, but the easiest one for me is to use the save DST or EXP. So um, I do have options here, but I'm going to use the save DST or EXP. You can also utilize file and then export and then save DST or EXP. Now when I do that, you can see that I have my ZSK folder already open. You will need to go in and um, locate the folder where your designs are stored. And you can see here I do have a couple of designs already stored in here. I'm going to name this file. And since it's already named fi family, it will probably um, ask me if I want to save over it. And it really doesn't matter if it's capital or lowercase letters. Um, we're just going to hit save after I name it. So I'm naming the file family and then the file extension is going to be DST. You can see that right here is the save as type and hit save. 
So it's asking me, do I want to replace it? I say yes. So it's important to remember what we're naming it because that's what we have to use to create the barcode. Now to create the barcode. If we go up to File and Print, we can set up the barcode within the worksheet options. I'm not going to use the print worksheet right now because I'm going to show you what that looks like in the print preview. So if I click on print preview, here I can give the worksheet a title. Now this title is going to be important for the barcode. You can see barcode is checkmarked here. You want to make sure barcode is checkmarked because if not it won't generate the barcode. The worksheet title is going to be what the machine needs to use to call that design. And the way that we name it is that we give it the same exact DST file name, including the file extension, but also uh, surrounding it with asterisks. So in this example, we're going to give the worksheet title uh, the name, and we're going to family.dst, but we're going to start it out with an asterisk. So I go to Shift and 8 on my keyboard. That gives me that asterisk. And in all caps, I'm going to write F-A-M-I-L-Y dot D-S-T and then finish it off with an asterisk. So that would be a shift and eight. Here, I'm going to show you the preview. And I do recommend doing this in capital letters because what this does is it changes it from letters to barcode. So if we hit preview, we can now see Here's the barcode up here. This is what we're going to utilize to pull in the design. I can print from here, which we'll go ahead and do. And we'll go ahead and click print. I'm going to print it to my printer. Press OK. And now it's printing out my worksheet. Now let's see if we go to File and Print Preview again. It's still named here. If I deselect barcode and I hit Preview, now you're going to see that the name of the file is up here. So this is where that barcode is generated. So it is important that we have barcode selected. So now we will go over to the machine and I'll show you how we can take this design that was saved into my shared folder and bring it up onto the machine with the barcode gun. Before starting the machine, make sure that your barcode scanner is connected to the USB port on the back of the T8 controller. You want to make sure that this is connected before starting the machine, otherwise the machine will not detect it if plugged in after the machine is started. We also see that my Ethernet connection for the network is also plugged in. I have already ensured that my network connection is running and can pull from the shared folder. In order to bring in a design via barcode, it's pretty much the same process as we would bringing in from a USB file cabinet, networking, or even monogramming. So we click on R1, and when we click on R1, at the bottom we will choose U7, which looks like the network with the barcode. Click on that. We'll choose our ch panograph configuration, confirm that, and then it asks us about our network connection. I am currently on the correct network connection where my design is located, so I'll hit select network connection, and now it's waiting to call up the design. So now I have my worksheet, I have my barcode reader that is already connected to the machine barcode, and now it will show up on the machine side. On the controller side, when I barcode, you can see it brings it directly into the controller. So I would load this design just as I would any other DST file. I Here I'm going to choose free design number, confirm, it's bringing it into the controller. I will optimize with the user defined values. Here I can enter in the color stops, accept the stop table, optimize, modify the design if I want to, and I'll accept it. And once I accept it, you can see now it's in our screen and it's ready to sew. So all I have to do is load up a textile in a hoop and then trace and get ready to sew.